Welcome, I'm Xionus and this is my detailed analysis for the August 28, 2013 patch in Dota 2. Gameplay-wise we only see very minor changes compared to the massive August 22nd patch. Badens and Feeble, which weakens enemy units, was not applied properly upon multicasts on the same enemy while investing skill points. Meaning, if Bane would cast in Feeble on an enemy, directly invest a skill point and recast in Feeble, it would only refresh the existing duration but not the upgraded debuff. In general, this combination would occur rarely, but it is good that Valve pays more attention on small bugs like these. Another bug prevented Sand King's epicenter to not properly apply an attack speed debuff to all units, which is now fixed with the August 28th patch. Wolf also took care of general problems and improved aspects with the game client. Audio changes have now been applied so that the consumption of cheese has its own audio trigger and audio files. Another fix dealt with the issue that Anti-Mage and Queen of Pain would be heard by using their blink in Fog of War, which can have now drastic advantages compared to the previous version. There were also visual improvements, including a bug that prevented proper rendering of Timbersaw's body plate. Additionally, player commands like dash ping are now no longer shown in the chat log. Another cosmetic improvement was made to the clothes settings for Witch Doctor and Lion, so they would render properly. For the Mac client, Valve now switched video streaming to HTML5 and improved the game controller support and stability. For Linux clients, proxy settings are now supported. A very interesting addition is the player perspective directed mode, which I will analyze further in the backend analysis. Concerning cosmetic and new items, the fantasy team reward crates have been added to your inventory. The more points you earn, the higher the ranking of your crate. The first level grants you a common item, the second level rewards you with an uncommon item, level 3 a rare uncommon item and the highest level grants you a mythical item. Each item will be distinguishable by the Compendium Fantasy Challenge 2013 tag. There have also been updates to the cosmetic items. Lone Druid's head slot item from the Lockless Lockbox has been replaced with a new true form item called Form of the Onyx Grove. Phantom Assassin's recently added Dark Wrath set has had a small tweak to the cape and shoulder piece in order to update the pattern surrounding the eye. Templar Assassin's recently added Red Moon set has had its texture updated on the shoulder piece in order to remove a symbol in which people may have confused it for something else. Diving a little deeper into the patch changes, we see the new spectator mode has been added. If you have the directed camera mode enabled, you can use Dota Spectator Shoulder View 1 to gain a new over the shoulder perspective. Note that these commands are still work in progress and should be used at your own risk, but could open up interesting possibilities for movie makers. There have also been updates to the HUD skins. The Curiosity, Dire Tide and Menon's HUD have been modified to not cover important gameplay items like buff displays. Another minor change concerns a batch of string updates for the recently updated compendium prediction results. Another change concerns the hero script file where the model scale of Storm Spirit has been reduced from 1.15 to the smaller 0.88. There have been no material or particle changes to the client. There have also been no new hero models added to the game, therefore it is uncertain which hero will be released next. For more information about the patch, head over to CyberGmat's webpage and check out the development blog of Dota 2. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel Xeonosify on YouTube for more Dota 2 content and guides. If you liked this video in particular, give it a thumbs up, it really helps a lot. I also want to thank Holy Hexer for giving me the opportunity to be featured on his awesome channel. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.